Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for CDXF Stream. To get started, open up a Microsoft Excel file, and you'll see a new toolbar containing CDXF Stream functions. If you'd like to import data for a list of zip codes, for example, use the cursor to select the first cell, click on CDXF Stream, and you'll see the address of the selected cell, which you can edit here if you wish. In this case, we're using a zip code data feed, but other data feeds are available based on state, county, or CBSA, or core-based statistical area. You'll also see two lists of data fields. On the left is the list of available data fields, and on the right is the list of data fields you'd like to import to the worksheet. You can build this list by selecting a field on the left, or more than one field by holding down the Control or Shift keys, then click Add. You can also add blank fields, remove fields, or rearrange the list using the up and down buttons. Clear the list by clicking remove all, or add all fields by clicking add all. Once you're done building the selected fields list, just click get data, and your worksheet will be filled with the selected fields to the immediate right of the zip code list, with column headings and data already formatted. Just remember to end your zip code list with an empty cell, so CDX Zipstream knows where the data stops. You can also use the Settings feature to customize how the data is returned, either by row or by column, whether you want to overwrite existing data or not, and other formatting options. Now, if we look at one of the worksheet cells, you can see that each data point returned by CDX Zipstream is the result of a formula. This formula automatically grabs the requested data from a local database. It can be used like any other formula in Excel, so you can input the formula directly into a cell to obtain data. Or if we cut and paste formulas like this, we can obtain the same data very easily for a new set of zip codes. CDX Zipstream also has many useful functions available when you right-click on any worksheet cell. Let's take a look at a few examples. CDX Root MP works in conjunction with Microsoft MapPoint to calculate the driving distance or driving time between two locations. Just input the two locations. They can be a specific street address like this, or even a general location such as a zip code. In this case, we'll specify that we want to calculate the quickest driving route and the quickest route of 38 miles is returned to the worksheet. The right-click function CDX Locate MP also works with MapPoint. Just input a location and select the data you need, like latitude, longitude, details about the address like street, city, state, or zip. You can even request a map of the location, which is inserted right into your worksheet, like this. The function CDX Radius can be used to find zip codes within a specified distance of a target zip code. Here we'll input a target zip code of 08034, and we're looking for the zip codes within a 5 mile radius. Click OK, and the list of zip codes is inserted in the worksheet along with their distance from the target zip. We can also request a map point map of this area, just input the same zip code and distance and then select Radius Map. This is just a sample of the many ways CDX Upstream can help you get location-based data. So please check out the help file from the toolbar for more information. You can also see examples of all CDX Upstream functions by going to your All Programs menu, selecting CDX Upstream, then CDX Upstream Data Examples. Thanks for choosing CDX Upstream, a client data solution from CDX Technologies.